How's it going, man? About, about. Doing all right today? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, whole bunch of stuff, huh? Bunches. It's full all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Yep. 10 4. Well, I'm not going to plumb through all of it. So I don't know anything about it. You know how I am. I just, <laughs> all I do is tub it. Yep. Already. 60 bucks? Yep. Everything? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's come over here and set it down. Let me take a look at it. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> he likes anything spicy, so. I think we're actually out. All we have left is the chili sambal. No, we're out of that. Alrighty, you said you take 50? Um, I actually need 60, I mistyped. Okay, 60. Sorry. Alright, there's 50. And 60. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're Okay, yeah, please do. The only thing I know about the kitchen right here. Yeah, that's fine. You couldn't find any more controllers. No. Right. Yeah, that looks good. All right, cool. Twenty bucks. Sir. Appreciate it, man. No Thanks again. What's up, man? What's up, man? You alright? Yes, sir. How are you? Good. I appreciate you riding this way. Yeah, man. No problem. I know how it is sometimes. Yes, sir. Uh, What's right. up? I'm going to pop the this tailgate is... down. Okay. Take a look at it. Or set them on here. That'll work. That's the N64 game. Okay. This is the Game Boy game. Now you can have this stuff. I just didn't know if you wanted it. Yeah, man. It was like that just works. Like the controller and shit. The actual Game Boy. How's your New Year's been? It's good. It's alright. Got a bunch of it. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we have some gas. <laughs> I hear that, man. Yeah, this was right on time. I've seen you post a couple times. I've just never really thought nothing about it. I bet mean, this is. We were sitting there broke as shit talking about being broke. I, I, saw it, <laughs> I was like, well, fuck it, let's try. <laughs> I love this stuff, man. Oh, so you keep it for yourself? I collect, and then the stuff that uh, I already have, I'll either trade off or sell off, you okay. know? Um, a lot of times, you know, when buying big lots like this, you I'll end up with a couple of doubles. Of yeah. Things. And I usually like trade them off for stuff I need or something. Mm -hmm. You got that thing loud over there, huh? Yeah, 
Like, I always plan on getting another console, man. But them things, they're three times more expensive than they were when my parents bought me my original <laughs> one. You know? Yeah. So it's just crazy. Usually when I get them, I sell them for about 50 bucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I see them on eBay, you know, for like a couple hundred and shit. Ooh. Now, some of those might, might be a couple of hundred, like, if they're still an original box. Mm -hmm. And they have all of their original contents that came with it, you yeah. know. Um because it's hard to find stuff like that. A lot of people usually threw the boxes away. So collectors, um, Just like, don't have. yeah, like to try to find that kind of stuff. And so if you want it, you got to pay a pretty penny for it. Oh man, I'm glad to be picking that game up. I've been looking for that one. one, Mischief Makers. It's a fun know. game. I don't even remember which that one's about. See, I picked up quite a few of these from a uh, state sale. Yeah. I'd already gotten rid of my console, so I hadn't uh, played them. Heck yeah. Those are the uh, Game Boy games. The Game Boy stuff. Cool. I haven't played that game in a long time. Yeah, Mega Man. I love that game. Oh, behave. Man, that's a game they need to come back out with. You know, they bring back all these old games. Yeah. Well, they've done um, the Legacy Collection on PS4. Have they? Uh huh. Legacy Collection 1 and 2. Oh, so it's a bunch of Mega Man games on there. That's when I got the house at PlayStation. I had. Ultimate Fighting. And I'm a big Game Boy collector too. That was my first handheld. Yeah, my son in it was in the car. He's a four year old. He, he ain't seen none of this shit in a while. I thought the Game Boy Color was a cell phone. Oh man. Yeah. So this cell phone has buttons. I saw, uh, <laughs> I saw a video. This little girl was. Somebody handed her a, a Game Boy Color. And she was touching the screen trying to get, trying it, to, to get it to move. Trying to get it to work. <laughs> I was like, oh man. That's yeah, crazy. Old, don't it? <laughs> yeah. Ah, gone. Really? That was the shit. <laughs> I feel like you probably still have one. You know the little lights that you had to plug in to be able to see the screen. I tell you what I do now. I take original Game Boys and I mod them. I put backlights on them. So you cool. can you can see them clear as day in the dark. I put a, what's called a bivert chip on them, um, which enhances the contrast after you put a backlight on them. And uh, I'll show you here in a sec what I can do with them. I got pictures on my phone. All right, cool. So uh, 120? Yeah, that's great. All right, man. Count that out. That should be 120. Yeah, that's it. All right, man. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks, man. Thank I'll you. Let us know if I come across some more. Yeah.
Hey, how's it going, man? Fine, fine. Doing all right today? Oh yeah. See ya. Oh, whole bunch of stuff, huh? Bunches. It's full all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Yep. Ten four. Well, I'm not gonna plumb through all of it. Say, I don't know anything about it. You know how I am. I just <laughs> all I do is tub it. Yep. Already, sixty bucks. Yep. All right. I, I can't. I figured that's a deal. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's got to be PlayStation Three for sixty bucks. There's got to be something in here worth that, for sure. Cool. Yeah, back over here, close. That's heavier than it looks. Yeah, yeah. I figure. I figure so. Uh, ten four. Cool. Oh yeah. All righty. Let me I get the uh, another tub. Yeah, hey, uh, it'd probably take me a couple months. I'm full right now. I'm not buying much. And uh, tubs like this, or tub full of games, uh, just whatever you can come across, that works for me. Games sell pretty good at yard sales. Yeah, they do. I don't, I don't, I don't sell these because I don't know much about them. I don't go through them. Just hate school. She's done. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, only because this is very fun looking. Yeah. And I'd rather if it's right instead of being one of those, you know. Which hopefully that would never happen. Anyone? Okay, folks, so I found this thrift store. And they've got a ton of games. Really good stuff. Um, $4 each. There are price tags on them, but they said that they were all four dollars. So we got some Wii Sports in here. It's another Wii Sports Resort. Um, I think you could 
front is actually running up 80 on eBay. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so we got 29 gains in the basket at mm -hmm. $4 a piece. That's 116. Right. There you are. Exactly. Because we do half of what shows up on eBay. Yeah. So, what is the price you see on there? That one's in there. Okay, YouTube, wow, what a way to start off 2020. We start off with a bang. That's what I'm talking about. Man, we got some good stuff. I'm really excited. There's so much good stuff here on this table that I'm going to be adding to my collection. And, yeah, I, I just, I'm so ecstatic. All right, so we start off with a Wii, picking up a Galaxy 3DS and a Wii. I ended up selling the Wii, and uh, I was going to keep the Galaxy 3DS because my personal 3DS was the Fire Red launch one uh, with a much smaller screen. And I ended up finding this Pokemon 2DS XL later on in the week. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to keep this one. And so I sold the Galaxy 3DS as well. And uh, really happy to find this. This is an awesome little system. I don't, I don't ever use the 3D function, so having the 3ds was just irrelevant for me then we picked up a gamecube with wario world i still have wario world right there it's an excellent condition sold the gamecube already i haven't even listed this yet uh, i wanted to give it a run through i've only ever found this game twice and both times have been disc only and i've never even played the game so i wanted to give it a, a try first before i listed it and sold it because there's, uh, there's, no, there's no way, you know, there's no point in putting that in the collection if it doesn't have case and manual. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. So then we found an excellent, <laughs> super excellent N64 lot, a Game Boy lot, and some controllers and a Game Boy Color. Here's the Game Boy Color. I'm, I plan on keeping it and I'm going to end up modding this one. Um, I'm going to put uh, the new backlight screen in it and uh, possibly a new shell for that. The N64 games that I have left are going to be this stack back here. I ended up trading six games to Collector's Luck for some Game Boy games that he had. 
Uh, he saw six games in that lot that he needed, and I already had them, so I was happy to do the trade. Then tonight, I traded Smash Brothers for these three games. We got Pokemon Stadium, A Bug's Life, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. The label is a little bit bad on it, but this game is going up in value, and it's still fetching for about the same price that Smash Brothers is right now. It's getting on up there around the $40 to $45 mark. Um, the the guy that I traded with, he knew that, you know, he was giving me a little bit extra. So I didn't, you know, like try to pull one over on him. Um, and I told him, uh, listen, man, you know, this isn't, you know, value for value. He's like, I'm totally cool with that. I just really want Smash. So I'll be putting those three up for sale. And then I still have Diddy Kong Racing, uh, GoldenEye, Micro Machines, Glover. Another person contacted me uh, looking for Glover, so I've, I've held off uh, from listing this one yet. Another Pokemon Stadium with the transfer pack here. It's already on the table sitting there. Uh, really bad copy of All-Star Baseball 99. World is Not Enough, the Grey Cart variant. Uh, let's see. Elma's Letter Adventure, Rugrat Scavenger Hunt, and then uh, Star Wars Racer. So let me clear some of these off, and we will move on to the Game Boy games. Some really awesome Game Boy games. I have said time and time and time again that I do not collect Pokemon, I sell Pokemon, but ever since I've back, uh, been modding Game Boys and, and putting backlights in them and, and whatnot, I'm wanting to hang on to as many Game Boy games as possible. So I'm going to hang on to these four minus uh, this red. I already have red complete in box, and so I have traded this with a subscriber who actually sent me two Game Boys uh, for me to fix and backlight. And uh, he sent a copy of Pokemon Yellow for the trade. So, uh, I'll be hanging on to Pokemon Yellow, selling the one that he sent. Uh, we got Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Blue, Madden 95, High Stakes Gambling, and then for Game Boy Color, we got NFL Blitz 2000, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Austin Powers' O oh Behave, Star Wars uh, Episode 1, Obi-Wan's Adventures, Ultimate Fighting Championship, and Test Drive 5. All of those are going into the collection, as well as Mega Man 3. Very happy to find that. And then the N64 games from that lot that are going into the collection are Mischief Makers, F-Zero X, and Mario Party. That's three more added into the collection. And now I believe I am down to 49 games, minus the, uh, the cartridge variants. Also going into the collection that was in that lot is the GameShark Pro version 3.3. This is the most uh, expensive GameShark Pro for the N64, um, but I'm going to hang on to that for the N64 collection. Then we came across a huge storage Rubbermaid tote full of stuff. This guy sent me a message last night and sent me a picture of just the, um, just the tote. And I can see that it was stacked to the brim. I had no clue what, what all was in it, but I just saw a bunch of consoles sticking out of it. And I said, how much you want for the whole thing? He said, I'm looking to just sell all of it as is for 60 bucks just to get it out of my hands. I said, that sounds fantastic, and I am totally cool with that. And um, so we met up, and inside that tote, there were a lot of... Uh, like phone chargers and HDMI cables and um, random power cables to just random stuff. But I pulled out all the gaming stuff 
and in that tote was an Xbox 360 Slim. There is no hard drive, and it's missing the uh, the plate that covers the hard drive up anyway. Uh, so that's kind of just like uh, for parts only type Xbox 360. Then it came with an original Xbox, a Wii. Inside that Wii was a copy of Wii Sports. Uh, it worked great, and I'll get on with that a little later about what I did with Wii Sports. Um, a Sega Genesis Model 2. Two, I don't know if you can see both of them. Two PS1 originals. Inside one of these PS1s was this game right here. Toomba 2. Score. Uh, that's about a $40, $45 loose game right there. So, very happy to find that. Then it had two PS3s. Uh, this one down here is the 320 gig. Uh, it's the CECH2501B model. That's the 320 gig. Then it had a Super Slim, and this is just the standard base model 12 gig. A uh, PS1 Gun Con for like um, uh, the, uh, the light gun games. Um, and then there was a copy of Sonic Spinball, Jungle Book. There was an N64 with an expansion pack. Uh, let's see, all of these controllers. There was a, a PS1 uh, multi-tap here. Really bad condition, blue Xbox controller, original Xbox. Sega Genesis 3 button. Um, a Pelican Xbox controller. Two PS2 controllers, a PS1 controller, a Wii Classic controller, another PS2 uh, controller. Actually, this green one came with the N64 lot. Uh, also, what came with that N64 lot, uh, I just saw it. Am I, am I, oh, these games right here. These were extras, Tetris, Jeopardy, Donkey Kong Land 2, and Pokemon Silver. Um, I already had these. Actually, no, this Pokemon Silver was in this, this big tub right here. Um, the big tub for 60 bucks. So that was in that lot. Um, let's see. There, there was somewhere up here, right here, a copy of Pokemon Ruby. There was a white Game Boy Advance with its, uh, battery cover. Um, hardly ever come across Game Boy Advances. Um, so I'm going to hang on to that and mod that. Uh, we got a whole bunch of N64 controllers, some PS3 controllers, a uh, Wii controller that was a copy of NASCAR 2000 uh, shoved into the N64. There were two of these little um, Sega Genesis portable game players. And the breadwinner... Um, in my opinion, was the PSTV. I found this all the way down at the very bottom of that tub. I'm so happy to find that. That allows you to play PS Vita games on um, on your TV. There was a Guitar Hero rechargeable battery um, pack here, recharge kit. And back here, there was a complete in-box Atari 7800. I don't have any intention on keeping this, so that's going straight to eBay after I test it. Um, but yeah, a complete in box Atari 7800. So that was fantastic. Then, wow, I came across a thrift store today that has some of the most amazing games I'd ever seen in a thrift shop. Um, they wanted $4 each for these games. And uh, I had a basket full. I ended up um, putting back several, several that I already had that I was just buying to flip. And I kept, uh, kept most of the ones that I didn't have and a couple um, that I already had that I would be able to flip and recoup all my money. I spent $116 on everything I'm about to show you. So let me move some of this out the way. And what we have is NFL Street 2 for the GameCube. 
Batman the Brave and the Bold for the Wii. The House of the Dead 3, I actually found that one at Salvation Army for $2. Dino Crisis 3, Arx Fatalis, Toe Jam and Earl 3, Harvest Moon, Save the Homeland, Ephemeral Fantasia, Castlevania, Lament of Innocence, Sui Coden 4, Scarface, The World is Yours, Sui Coden 3, Grow Lancer Generations, Clock Tower 3, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, Wile Country Club, Complete N64, WrestleMania 2000, Complete N64. These two games here, the Lego Star Wars, came with the, um, the GameCube bundle uh, with Wario Land, and the Super Mario 3D Land came with the Galaxy 3DS, and the Wii. I also found a copy of uh, Best of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures on DVD. It was factory sealed. I couldn't pass that up. Uh, the rest of the games from that thrift store was a copy of Bloody Roar 2. That was This is the only game that was not complete. Uh, Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition. This one too, I take that back, this one too is not complete. Uh, this is just manual and disc. So i got to find the back to that. Then, the PS1 games were Fear Effect 2, Retro Helix, Parasite Eve, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, Deception 3, Dark Delusion, Bushido Blade, Saga Frontier, Resident Evil Code Veronica on the Dreamcast, and The Breadwinner. Busta Groove 2. This is about a $75 to $80 game. So that was the most expensive game in the entire lot. Uh, it's complete, nice, and minty disc. Uh, I did find three copies of, uh, excuse me, two copies of Wii Sports and two copies of Wii Sports Resort at this thrift store that I also purchased. And then Inside this Wii from this uh, big uh, bundle lot here, there was a copy of Wii Sports. I took all of those to GameStop and traded them in today, tonight, for $69. Um, Wii Sports is trading in for $15, same as cash uh, and credit. And Wii Sports Resort is trading in for $12, same as cash and credit. So that $69 recouped a lot of the money that I spent today. But there you have it, folks. That is it. I know this has been a long recap, but there was a lot here. And I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. When you do, hit the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you have had a fantastic week. I've had a fantastic New Year start. And it can only get better. Hope you take care and have a good one.